volunteers in our community, we know how rewarding it can be and how good it really makes us feel. Uh, sometimes, though, we forget how important volunteers are to the people that they serve and the people that they help. So today, we've got Monica Soto from the Catherine McCauley Center. She's going to tell us a little bit about how volunteers have changed her life. Everyone, please welcome Monica. Good morning, everyone. Have you ever felt lost, alone, without hope? Have you ever thought that some divine power put someone in your life to help you? When I arrived in the US, I felt like an intruder. I couldn't speak or understand, um, not just the language, but the white old blonde people. When I moved to my first apartment, all the white people in the building waved to me and smiled. I always ran the other way with the fear that they would speak to me. And I would have to answer back with one of my few sentences that I had learned in English. I don't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> I promised to myself that I will learn English no matter what. So I can say back, I'm sorry, so I can say hello back to the kind people to wave to a stranger in the hallway. Someone told me about Catherine McCauley Center, a place that you can go and they get you an English tutor. I said, wow, that sounds very expensive. She answered, it's free. People volunteer their time. And I said to myself, well, if it's free, why not try it? As soon as I stepped through the door, they welcomed me as a friend, and they interviewed me in my own language. And they gave me a tutor, as they called them. But for me, it was more than that. It was a teacher, and it was a light in the tunnel. It was funny how we both got excited when I started mumbling the words that sounded like they were trying to teach me. But when I saw their genuine concern about my frustration and we shared with happiness my achievements, I never saw them as, again as the tall, blonde people. <laughs> They were my friends. I am profoundly thankful to my tutors for giving me my voice back so I can share my experiences, for teaching me how to survive in this country. But the most important of all, for giving me hope when I felt lost, for giving me the hand that I needed, to stand up every time that I fail. If you never consider being a tutor because you feel that you are not a teacher, let me tell you that you can make a difference in someone's life. You can be the hand that we're trying to reach but no one grabs. You can be the inspiration that they need to overcome the fear of saying hello to a stranger in the hallway. You can make them feel at home and not an intruder. To them, to my tutors, who share their time, their knowledge, and their experience. To my friends, my respect, my appreciation, and from the bottom of my heart, thank you. <laughs> 